All right, DC's Fire is here. Wait, who is Fire? Her real name, Beatrice B. Vanilla Da Costa. A superhero appearing in American comic books published by DC. She first appeared in Super Friends number 25, October 1979. Created by E. Nelson Bridwell and Ramona Freyden. Also Green Fury, but on the card we get, it's originally a spy for the Brazilian Secret Service. B was on a mission when she came into contact with a strange chemical X <laughs> mix called pyroplasm. Oh. Her exposure to the substance gave her the metahuman ability to control a green flame that could cover her whole body and allow her to fly. So that's the info on the card, and then you can see all the different things from her throughout the history, pre-crisis, what have we got? Super Friends, Global Guardians, post-crisis, renamed Beatrice, after Crisis on Infinite Earth, Beatrice Da Costa at first, now Beatrice Vanilla Da Costa, uh, Justice League, I mostly know her from Justice League, as I know most of my DC things, because I love the Justice League animated series that came out back in the day. It's like the best thing DC has ever done, besides, well, Batman the Animated Series, Super Batman the Animated Series. But she looks pretty cool. I like her relationship with stuff in the series. She looks really good in the series. I like the attitude. I like her human form and flame-on form. Really cool. I like all the different designs I've noticed throughout the comics. And, uh, that's just a little bit about her. And, uh, you know what? Let's just get into the figure. We... You, yeah, yeah, let's just get to the figure, all right? But yeah, she looks good. I like her in both forms, and let's just look into her figure now. 22 points of articulation. Okay, there she is in the box. Gold label. She was at event at Target. Happy to have gotten her. Uh, she was actually in the store when we got our big haul. We got Warbird. We'll do her. Marvel, whatever. Miss Marvel or whatever. As interesting. Warbird? What is it? Let me know what that. why that's Warbird and it's not like Marvel. But anyway, how she looks like in the comics. That's pretty neat, but the box looks pretty good. There she is. There's not much to her. But Fire, DC McFarlane Multiverse Fire. I like the packaging. I love the art. On the card, she looks really good because, again, she's just like a naked green fire chick. So, can't complain. <laughs> so, the art on the box on the back looks really good, and that's when we get in the card. <laughs> yeah, she looks good. Now, let's get into the figure itself. Yeah. There's the Wonder Woman. Found her. Took the little tab thing out, and there's the card for Fire. Fire! Tiny fire. Big fire. Oh, I love the packaging. Let's go, let's go. Like in the face, looking up. Well, uh, we'll see how she is. Little flame on hands. <laughs> Very green, right? Could be a tuchus. We'll see what Mr. Ratburn thinks. <laughs> There she is in card form. I mean, dang, she's got a really long neck thing just to show off there. And then those little things. <laughs> oh yeah, and it took us. Not the best, but you can tell it's one of those, you know, what's funny is how she looks like she's... Well, we'll get into that in a second, but the neck thing, wow. There's her hand. There's one of her little flame things. That goes in hand. To get just like the other little flame thing. That is in hand. Ooh, a little fiery around her belt. Nice. There's her head. Nice face. Nice eyes. I like the lips and the eyebrows. And the eyes really stand out with all this green. I do like how in the flames you do get this little streak of coloring throughout the little flame parts in her hands and in her hair. My only downside is, and again, I like that she's that kind of translucent -y. But like I said, the neck, holy cow. You can really see up in the peg there. And people were joking about the Ultimate April from last year. This girl's got a neck and it just kind of sticks out like that. That is a big little peg piece. I mean, wow. It looks like her head is not even attached to the neck as much. Like, not... It's a little odd. Hmm. <laughs> She's like, okay. Let's just get it over with. Let's do it. One of those days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just looks like that. But no, just because I wanted to show that the arms stretch out. She can do the splits. We got her bent knees, bent arms. So, yeah. She's bent in all those places. Even the heels there. See, that's the articulation for her, although that head just kind of 
I don't know, something about it. <laughs> Some of that neck. Again, I do love that. The face is really good, though. Those are great eyes. They really stand out. And I do like the yellowish stuff in there with the... It does look good. You know, like, you hold it up to the light, maybe. Can't really tell, but from here, she is, like... Kind of scary looking. <sighs> That's actually kind of neat looking. But yeah, but she really... Can't really see it from here. Let's try. But she looks good like this. Interesting how this looks. And she's just starting to get engulfed in flame. Wow. Alright, a little more like this now. To show her off. And yeah. Just looks very nice. Again, that hair. I like it. Really like the face. Well, she's got boobs. <laughs> she has the took us the heels. The only downside is, you know, they're just reusing the body that they've been reusing so much. Because usually when she's in this, she's supposed to be like, because it clearly looks like she's wearing something in here, but she's not supposed to. It's supposed to be just little flame bits covering her boobs, vagina, and her butt, and all that kind of stuff. There's little little areas where it gives that illusion that she's naked just with some flames. So that's what just kind of. See, look at it from certain angles, just like especially from below. That's how that neck is. So, yeah. Still, again, I love the face. I like that they're doing this. I just wish it was not just a reuse of someone in costume type body because it looks like that's basically what it is. And that's just kind of how they cheapened out, I guess. Just using with the same female bodies all the time. Couldn't have done something else. I don't know. But pretty good, though, still. Not terrible, but. Could have been so much more. Let's take our little fireballs off there. Oh, this one. Oh, she got a good grip on that one. <sighs> Alright, well, there we go. <laughs> so, mostly just the show. Oh, uh, she has hands if you just want to make sure you, she had hands. It wasn't just fireballs. Just that kind of, like, we'll just show for comparisons where it's like, you can tell, like, she's wearing a suit. And they got that kind of look there. Sure, they don't have the little stretch kind of little lines there to where her, you know. But, oh, no, actually, they are there. They're right there. Right right there. You can see a little bit. So, yeah. So, it's like, it's just weird. Boy, this is like weird. Uh, <laughs> it feels weird with the butt right there because it's actually very soft. Interesting. was not expecting that. So, just to show that, you know she is wearing an outfit so that kind of just is my like one downside so it looks like she's wearing like something right here shorts or some kind of underwear of some sort and then in this top and it just you know it's a shame when it's just obviously reusing molds again and again at least the chest is not the same more rounded but it's just the idea like another good example would be this one here that, you know, she has, that's a, such a big lasso, I mean, such a big whip, but you can tell, like, she's wearing that diaper kind of look, and then it shows that, so it kind of gives less of that impression of the butt, and then you can tell she's wearing, so I wonder if it is the Catwoman there, because the breasts look more similar, you know what I'm saying, to Catwoman's, uh, the shape of Catwoman's breasts, more round and bigger. So, it's just that idea, that's like my one gripe of this, it's like, oh. so it just gets kind of old when they constantly reuse those same bodies, even for something like this when it's supposed to be that translucentness, it just takes away from it a little bit. 
just to have another female together with her. See if the leg goes up pretty nicely right there, just as a bonus thing. Of course, I do again like the fire belt. I do like the green tour, and the face is very nice. And I like that you get those kind of yellowish tones in there with the greens throughout the kind of body. If you're looking like right here, you can kind of see. So it does look nice. It's just that reusing that body again type of stuff just gets kind of like really. I mean, I get it, but for a character like this, or is she like rubbing up against her later? Stop it. Well, at least not in front of the camera. Oh, just come here, you. <laughs> no, but it's just... <laughs> it is just funny. So, I don't know. Maybe their breasts are the same, too, but I don't know. But, yeah, Just some comparisons of other DC girls uh, together. Da -da -da -da. She does have a very nice color scheme to it. I really like the greens and those yellows, and the translucentness really does work with her very well. She poses good with Starfire. <laughs> Signature Collection DC Comics Fire. We're going to take a look at an older figure of her. And this is her in her regular kind of more human form, not her, I don't like the joke, but flame on form. <laughs> her green flame form. Love the art on the side. Very, very nice art. The figure looks nice too, but let's take a look at the packaging real quick at this really nice, uh, beautiful work of art. I really like it. Very nice from bottom to top. Nice, real name. And then, of course, we went through all that. Uh, Outgone Brazilian beach model turned secret agent. <laughs> Pretty unique resume before, yeah, well, you know. DC Comics Fire. And uh, let's just get a brief little review, kind of just look at her. She's a little bit tinier than the new uh, McFarlane figure, obviously, but she looks good. I like the little orangey, flamey, fiery background, and she looks really cute. I like the cute face, good body, very nice sculpt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, let's just dive in more into this wonderful sculpt. Again, very cute face. Love it. It's a nice face. <laughs> Overall, very, very nice indeed. I like the boots. Good hair. <laughs> and tummy. Fire. Meet fire. <laughs> New and old together, her regular kind of human form, and then her flaming body form. Together, they look pretty good together, don't they? <laughs> so it was neat just to have the two uh, together. Comparisons, yeah. <laughs> I'm flying here to save you. Dun, 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 dun. Hey look, it's me! Wow, I look gorgeous, don't I? <laughs> that she does. Both of them, figures and the art of these, very nice indeed. And there she is, old and new figures together for a promising future. Really like it. Hopefully they'll do one like kind of like that where she's not in fire form. That'd be kind of nice. And very, very nice figures. I enjoyed getting them. Oh no, what's happening? <clears throat> oh no, fire, what are you going to do? Uh, let's do this and talk of this. Like I was trying to say before with uh, this Catwoman, how they went from that, which we'll never see again, to this, and it's just... I can't help it. Hey, you're still cool, though. Okay. Yeah, we'll never get something like this again, because still, holy crap. What were they thinking of this? I mean, I know it's the game accurate, but... Fuck, you know. I'm gonna pick up that heel here. Uh, uh, well, as long as I'm not picking my butt. Theirs, however. <laughs> well, I got plans for them. Uh -huh. Fire in the holes! Ah, buttholes! Ah! <laughs> And here we are trying some other bodies to give her more of that nude look that she has when she's battling in flame form. Not too bad. Two different body types. So give her that one's more clothed, but still very nice. And I think some nice options for her that can be fitting. 
had a lot of fun with it and had a lot of fun with the figure photography and uh, just the figure in general her fitting with other characters and I thought those looked good what do you think of those what do you think could be used to get more of that look yeah give some suggestions below to get some cool uh, custom work there for her. and I like that pose and I like these figures and fire is definitely fire <laughs> So yeah, just some fun here with the uh, ladies of DC here. And otherwise, you know, a lot of complaints with her, but still a very nice figure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about DC's uh, McFarlane Toys Fire uh, in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Flame on! You haven't said a word the whole trip. Again, what is with those sexy green superheroes? <laughs> Wonder Woman is free, I tell ya. Free! Uh, guess it's finally the end now, right? Uh, the end? Uh, she's beach ready and uh, she's just gonna relax and have some fun with ice. And looking good doing it? Yeah. And uh, again, thanks for watching. See you all next time.